ever met someone who seems shy and self-sacrificing, but something just doesn't feel right? You may be dealing with a covert narcissist. Unlike their overt counterparts, they portray themselves as underdogs, victims of circumstance. They paint a picture of being constantly overshadowed and mistreated. Why? To seek sympathy, to gain support. And while you're busy empathizing with their plight, they subtly shift the blame to others. It's a clever ruse. Remember, their victimhood is often more strategic than sincere. Consider those who always seem to be self-sacrificing. It's a familiar facade of the covert narcissist. They adorn the martyrdom mask, taking on burdens and responsibilities that may seem beyond their capacity. It's a clever ploy, designed to elicit admiration and praise for their perceived sacrifices. But here's the catch. Their selflessness is a guise, a manipulation tactic to make others feel indebted. They're counting on your gratitude, your guilt, your obligation. So, beware of the martyr who never asks for the cross. Ever notice someone who always seems to get their way, yet never appears to assert themselves? This is the realm of the covert narcissist's quiet control. They may seem unassuming, even agreeable, yet they have a knack for nudging situations and conversations in their preferred direction. They subtly manipulate the flow of events, decisions, and outcomes, all while maintaining an image of passivity. It's a delicate dance of influence, often unnoticed until you're left wondering how things ended up their way. Silent waters run deep, and sometimes they run deceptive. Emotionally sensitive or emotionally manipulative? A question to ponder as we delve into the realm of emotional blackmail. Covert narcissists are adroit at weaponizing their sensitivity, turning it into a tool for guilt tripping others into compliance. They play on your empathy and fear of disapproval, using their own perceived vulnerability as a bargaining chip. It's a subtle game of emotional tug-of-war, where their feelings always seem to carry more weight. Remember, true vulnerability doesn't demand, it shares. Beware of those who weaponize vulnerability. Unassuming on the surface, but expecting special treatment? Covert narcissists often harbor a deep sense of entitlement. While they may not openly demand, they subtly expect privileges and special considerations. This is coupled with a tendency to devalue the needs, efforts, and contributions of others. They might downplay your accomplishments, dismiss your problems, or make you feel that your needs are less important than theirs. It's a game of undermining and superiority, played behind a mask of humility. Humility is not always as it seems. Innocent or manipulative, the line often blurs in passive-aggressive behaviors. Covert narcissists are masters at this craft, expressing anger and resentment in indirect ways. They do this through subtle digs, snide remarks, or intentional neglect. This tactic creates a hostile environment while they maintain an appearance of innocence. It's like a silent but deadly warfare where the narcissist drops emotional bombs, then retreats behind a mask of innocence. It's a clever strategy that leaves others questioning their own perceptions. Passive aggression is a silent but deadly warfare. Ever felt undermined by someone who downplays their own achievements? Well, that's the competitive undercurrent at play. Covert narcissists often engage in a subtle form of competition. They'll undermine others' successes and attribute their own accomplishments to luck or minimal effort. It's all about maintaining a facade of humility while seeking superiority. They subtly vie for the top spot not by openly showcasing their prowess, but by downplaying it, making you question your own. Remember, competition is not always overt. Sensitivity can be deceiving. Covert narcissists may wear the mask of the emotionally sensitive, but don't be fooled. Beneath the surface, they grapple with genuine empathy and emotional depth. Emotions for them are not experiences to be felt authentically. Instead, they become tools in their arsenal, wielded to manipulate and control. They may weep, they may rage, they may show great joy. But remember, these are performances, calculated moves on their chessboard of control. Not all who tear up feel the pain. Ever felt judged by standards that the judger themselves doesn't meet? This is a classic move in the covert narcissist playbook. They craft an intricate web of expectations and standards for others, yet when it comes to their own actions, they're quick to excuse their shortcomings. They might justify their behavior with their self-proclaimed fragile nature or any number of reasons that shift the blame away from them. Remember this, folks. Actions speak louder than words. 
watch out for those who preach but do not practice? Ever felt drained after interactions with someone who appears shy and self-sacrificing? That's the tenth point we're discussing today. The drain on energy. Covert narcissists, despite their humble facade, can be incredibly emotionally exhausting. You might find yourself constantly on edge, walking on eggshells, trying to avoid triggering their sensitivities. They may demand your time, attention, and emotional resources, leaving you feeling depleted and overwhelmed. This emotional drain is a form of manipulation, a way for them to control and bind you to them. It might leave you questioning your own perceptions, feeling guilty for wanting to establish boundaries or seeking space. It's crucial to understand that this is a part of their strategy. It's not your responsibility to cater to their emotional demands at the cost of your own well-being. Protecting your energy is crucial in maintaining healthy relationships. Recognizing covert narcissism is the first step towards protecting yourself. Let's recap. They might play the underdog, wear the martyrdom mask, or subtly control situations. They may use emotional blackmail, hide their sense of entitlement, or engage in passive-aggressive warfare. You might notice a competitive undercurrent, a lack of emotional depth, double standards, or find them emotionally draining. These behaviors are all pieces of a complex puzzle, painting a picture of a person who beneath a shy and self-sacrificing exterior manipulates and controls in subtle, often unnoticeable ways. Recognizing these signs is not about labeling or blaming, but understanding and protecting your emotional well-being. It's about setting boundaries and not allowing yourself to be manipulated or drained. By understanding their strategies and prioritizing your well-being, you can navigate the complexities of dealing with a covert narcissist.